Hello friends, as we have seen in our last video how to partially import the data, we will first partially import the data or we will import the CV data that we have seen, our, seen in our last video and we will import it partially so that only the required columns are to be added here. So this we already have made some changes and we will keep them as it is. Here this is the line used for long names and the next is for the units. Then also for partial import of the data what we have is we have already uh, selected the rows and columns and we will just import them. But before doing that we will set the designation as x for a so that we will get the x designation everywhere. Even the designations, you can column designations, you can see here it's x and y, x y, which will appear in the worksheets. So we'll be receiving all the x y designated columns in all the worksheets. Now just I'll click finish, and here we have our data. Okay. So now here we can see that. We have uh, imported the data and also partially imported the data so that we can uh, see the four cycles as we can click on the spark lines and we can see that there are four complete cycles imported into the worksheets for each particular uh, data or each particular file. Now I'll make some changes and then I will plot the data. The changes that I need I'm willing to make is I will turn this or uh, uh, write this as voltage and this particular long name as current. Okay. Now I'll copy this and paste into all the worksheets that I can see here. So that once we plot them, long names would appear, will appear everywhere or in all the plots that we are going to plot. So, finally, yes. so here we can see we have changed the long names, units are the same as we have now. I will plot this by using the line tool. So, I got the plot as a yeah, here is the plot line plot of the CV. I use the theme that we have already cre created and also seen in our last video. So I'll apply this theme. Once I apply this theme, all the settings or the theme is set to this particular plot and we can see this. So here what we can see is uh, all the required changes to the plot are made in this particular plot and now what we will do is we will plot all the graphs at once. Okay, We will plot all the graphs of the data available in this particular project at once using a simple tool or a simple button that is available in Origin Lab. And for that what we need to do is we just need to click right click here on the graph. Here what we can see is we can have a duplicate. Other ways that we have learned already learned for plotting the data or using uh, is one that we can use themes or we can use templates by which we can have all the settings or as it is and we can plot them multiple plots we can make them but we haven't learned till now to plot all the data at once so to plot this data at once what we need to do is we just need to click right click on this particular graph and here what we have is we have duplicate and duplicate batch plotting we will use duplicate batch plotting. Once we click on this, we can see the pop-up window wherein we need to select the workbook. Okay, These are different workbooks that are available or the different workbook that we have imported right now. And once we select all of them, we can plot all the workbooks that are, that are available in this particular project. Okay, uh, The option that we can see is the batch plot with uh, book 
it will plot with book each book or sheet or column we can change them according to need if we select the sheets the sheets will be available here if we select the columns the number of columns that are available should be available but it is not see it is not available right now but we will go with books as we have multiple books available with us and each book is having a set uh, or a pair of columns which need which are needed to be plotted so here uh, second thing that we have is match plot columns by column index and match sheets by index we have indexes that is uh, long names and all the other long names as well as short names available there and units available there and it will match them accordingly uh, one more setting that we have is match modifiers by offset or short name we can modify the match uh, parameters using this uh, range of uh, settings but we are not going to use them just to plot best plot or to have the plots which are similar to this particular graph that we have just created here we need this particular window here we will select all of this workbooks uh, the rescale axis is already ticked when we tick this it will be uh, automatically rescaled the axis will be automatically rescaled as well as the color map if present if there is a color map available in this particular plot here we don't have any color map so we won't be seeing any color map available in this particular sheet but if we apply a color map to the initial graph and then uh, we batch plot that particular graph then we can even rescale that color map and now what we have is plot selected to individual graphs we can have one graph we can have active graph or we can have individual graphs that means we will have uh, all this particular graphs as individual graphs created here in this particular project further what we can do is we can name we can change the names of the short uh, of the graphs that are that we are going to create that is graph short name we can change them we can have multiple different short names available as you can see here available here i will i won't be changing the short names but i will be changing the graph long names and i will set them as sheet display name why sheet display name because as we can see here sheet each sheet display name is unique and it is corresponding to that particular data that we have just imported so it would be easier for me to uh, identify which data is for which particular uh, which particular graph is for which particular data so now i will just click okay once i click okay what we can see is multiple data are plotted and each data is plotted similar to all of them and they are also rescaled so using just a single click or a single uh, button we can plot all the data or all the worksheets available in the project and have them so thank you for watching this video and also subscribe our channel to watch more such videos thank you